Kwa Gyok Chu was one of eight children. An outstanding student at Methodist Girls' School, she also topped the 1936 Senior Cambridge Examination for the whole of Malaya and Singapore. At Raffles Institution, she caught the attention of a young Lee Kuan Yew when she gave him unexpectedly stiff competition for a Queen's Scholarship. But academic rivalry aside, he knew he had found his equal and his soulmate. Their relationship grew through the years of Japanese occupation and by September 1944, love had blossomed. When World War II ended, Mr. Lee left to study law in England in 1946, but he was miserable until she joined him at Cambridge University a year later. The two married secretly on 23rd December 1947. She had just turned 27 and he was 24. You can't explain these things. <laughs> you had tremendous aplomb. Self-confidence, uh, very jaunty. He was a handsome young man. <laughs> When they returned to Singapore in 1950, they tied the knot again, this time with their parents' full knowledge. When Mr. Lee got more involved in politics and became Singapore's Prime Minister in 1959, it was Mrs. Lee and his younger brother, Lee Kim Yu, who built up and expanded Lee & Lee, the law firm all three had set up in 1955. Mr. Lee once said his great advantage was that he had a wife who could be a sole breadwinner and bring the children up. That was his, quote, insurance policy, which allowed him to play the role he did in Singapore's history. In October 2003, Mrs. Lee suffered a stroke while on a visit to London. Fortunately, she made a swift recovery and was again seen in public at her husband's side, at community events and on official trips overseas. And she was there when Lee Sien Lung was sworn in as Singapore's third Prime Minister. Although she had shied away from a high profile, her contributions to Singapore had been most significant and pivotal to its history. If she weren't an influence in my, supposing I'd married somebody else, I might have become a different person. I mean, not that I would be a different person, but the things I would have been able to do, the kind of backdrop I would have had, a family support would have been different. <laughs> 